contact tracing is something we've been doing from the very beginning here in North Carolina, and it's been done well before COVID-19. It is when we see someone test positive for COVID-19, and then we have folks that are embedded at our local health departments that they go and they interview that person who was positive. They go through their calendar and maybe even their Facebook feed to say, where have you been? What have you done? And then who might you have come into contact with that you could have potentially spread this virus to? And again, they try to spread that into risk. So it's not anyone ever that you've come into contact, but what are those high risk contacts? So first, who lives in your home, right? That's the highest risk contact. Second, who might you have been in contact with over a prolonged period of time? So within six feet for more than 10 minutes. And again, that's where the guidance, so that's a medium risk. And then low risk, as we've always been talking about, maybe you've been to you know, the grocery store or, and you've walked through the aisles. Now that's a low risk um, exposure, but obviously there is still some risk there. So our contact tracers do the work of identifying high risk, medium risk, low risk, and then work to um, contact those people to tell and them how does that, that they may that be at you? higher risk. 